Now let's head down to Prescott, where the Crooks fire is also forcing evacuations. The fire has already scorched 600 acres there with 0% containment. The Crooks fire was first detected on Monday morning and is now inching closer to the town of Prescott. Several evacuation orders are underway right now. Areas near Camp Kiva, Potato Patch, and Mount Tridal are under go orders, meaning people in those areas need to get out right now. If you're watching us from your home, you need to go. And those in Hopper's Retreat, Evans Cabin, Potato Patch, Lower Wolf Creek, and Groom Creek should all be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Team 12's Josh Sanders has been in Prescott throughout the day, and he joins us now with the very latest on that fire. Hey, Josh. Hey, good evening, Caribe. We've actually moved inside the Yavapai College Gymnasium where the Red Cross has set up an evacuation center. Those winds really are driving that fire outside. Inside, they laid down a tarp area. We actually just had a science camp of about 75 kids arrive that had been evacuated. This fire, you can see the smoke. Uh, in the background. Now, Red Cross officials are telling evacuees if they come here to Yavapai Community College, make sure that they bring any prescription medications, any anything that they need uh, for overnight, but they are providing meals. Now, we do want to show viewers the video that Sky 12 captured this morning. You could see these winds as they picked up and they're driving this fire. Those winds are driving the fire towards smaller communities like Walker, Potato Patch, and homes by Mount Union. Now they are also keeping fire teams from being able to use those air tankers for those water drops. The Yavapai County Sheriff's Office has closed many of the recreational areas around the area. And earlier we spoke to one evacuee who lives in Walker. He was outside doing yard work and then he saw the smoke. One moment there wasn't much smoke and the next moment I, I saw uh, like a wall of smoke, not to be overly dramatic, and um, I looked down at my phone and it, there was a call from the sheriff that had been silenced and I, I played it and it said, go. So I gathered a few things and I, I went. And Greg tells me he's been in the area for about 15, 16 years. This is the worst that he has ever seen it, and he moved from California. Now, when it comes to what's going on here at the Avapai Community College Gymnasium, Red Cross officials tell us they will stay open until 10 p.m. if people are indeed going to stay overnight. This group that has just arrived, one of the camp counselors told, tells me that they probably are going to have parents come and pick them up. Uh, the Red Cross says they will continue to be here and they'll be open 24-7 as long as they have people that are going to stay overnight. Back to you guys. All right, Team 12's Josh Sanders reporting for us as we continue our live wildfire coverage.